What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you coming and check out another video. And in this video we're going to be discussing one of the more refreshing notes in all of perfumery. That being the mint note. Some fragrances come off more minty than others. Some are more of a mint gum. Some are more of a mint leaf. Some are super refreshing on skin. But they all smell good. They all add a certain bright freshness when done right in a fragrance. And in this video I've narrowed down 10 of what I believe are some of the best for summertime. It's a little bit of niche and a lot of designer. Let's discuss them. Stay tuned. Starting with one from Mazzaro that's appropriately named. It's a very simplistic note breakdown, and it's very minty to say the least. That being Azaro Pour Homme Wild Mint. This was part of the collection that featured Naughty Leather, Hot Pepper, Ginger Lover, which was very hyped at one point, and then Amber Fever. And this is definitely the freshest of the bunch. Beautiful, somewhat of a mint leaf type of smell, though not the most natural mint leaf. Uh, you can still find these for a decent price. This is one of the more affordable from that collection of the Azaro Pour Homme Flankers. You can still find this one in the 30 some odd dollar range. Uh, this and Hot Pepper, I believe, are the two most affordable to find, whereas Ginger Lover and Amber Fever have kind of shot up in price. They're much harder to find these days. Uh, but this is a beautiful fragrance. Average performance, nothing spectacular in performance here, but it does have that cooling effect on skin that most dominant mint fragrances tend to have, which this indeed is. This is, like I said, slightly on the mint leaf side. It's very fresh green without having that spearmint gum type of feel, so it doesn't come across as too unnatural and synthetic. It's a solid fragrance and it's very affordable. Again, that's a Zara Pour Homme. This is wild mint. Now, I don't own another fragrance that literally has an actual iced cooling water effect on my skin more so than Aqua de Parma Colonia Club. The mint leaf that they use in here, it's intense peppermint type of mint smell. Super bright, fresh and uplifting. It's a very, very green fragrance. The color is very fitting, but when this hits skin, if it's super hot outside, a lot of humidity, you're just drenched in sweat, and you need something to just cool you down, lower your core body temperature, spray this on some pulse points. It has a similar effect to, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Florida water, where you actually would pour that on a rag, put it on your forehead. That was infamous around football, junior high and high school football practices all over for me growing up. And it has a similar cooling effect to that, only this is a luxury niche level fragrance. Performance for being an eau de cologne will surprise you. This is more of a five to six hour longevity fragrance on my skin. And if you spray it kind of heavy, it can be kind of overwhelming. This, like I said, for being an eau de cologne, you can see it right there on the sticker. It's actually very surprising how well this performs because traditionally eau de colognes, you're getting maybe two to three hours if you're lucky, but with the quality of the ingredients here, it does kind of propel that longevity just a bit. The absolute just top tier freshness does not take away from it. And that's one of the things to be respected about this fragrance in my opinion, but the most minty of the mint in this video, Aqua de Parma Colonia Club. Now this next one kind of has that green mint ice cream type of mint going on. Uh, the reason I say that because the almond that this line is known for is very present here and adds a creaminess. So it makes that, you know, mint chocolate chip, green, creamy ice cream mintiness from Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cool, one that does not get enough love in the fragrance community. I don't know how the masses treat it because Guerlain is a very popular perfume house. But this is good stuff. This took the place of the wildly hyped at one point and now discontinued Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cool. It was the white bottle. That one was known for grapefruit and orange, just bright tart citrus with that creamy almond note. Here, you still get a little touch of citrus. It does have a little bit of wateriness to add an aquatic feel, but it's more so about that mint and almond. And like I said, the mintiness comes across like the green minty ice cream. 
that you can find in all mint ice creams. It's actually very lovely. Another one, average performer. When you can find this one, it's not crazy priced. It's kind of in that affordable, bordering cheap territory depending on where you can find it, and it's super underrated. This one will make you smell a little bit more unique than the next guy when it comes to mint fragrances because there's definitely some serious originality here. Again, that's Guerlain Lomme, Ideal Cool. Now this is a sport fragrance darling of the early 2000s. I have many friends and former co-workers over the years that this was their signature scent and for good reason. It's very minty fresh. It's a little fruity green apple orange combo and a lot of green notes. We're talking about Ralph Lauren's Polo Blue Sport. Not one you really hear anybody talk about these days, but it's still a great fragrance. Just so wearable, so versatile, so easy going. Outstanding workplace fragrance in the hotter months, especially in the summer. This stuff's very cooling and refreshing without being an overwhelmingly cooling type of fragrance. And believe it or not, this one actually performs very well on my skin. This one's in the six to seven hour range on my skin, believe it or not. I do know friends that have gotten worse performance than that. And then I do have some friends that it goes like eight hours on them. So I guess it's subject to a skin chemistry type of thing, but some people may say they get terrible performance and hey, to each their own, but I actually get really good performance out of this. Um, this is one that I used to have many, many years ago, and this is a recent rebuy, and this is one of the fragrances that sparked this video topic idea in the first place, though it has been requested by a few people as well. Lovely fragrance. Like I said, all-time great summertime work scent, in my opinion. Works great casually as well. I mean, it's in the name. It's sporty, but it's more so casual, sporty type of scent to where it can border into work settings. Like I said, works great in a workplace setting, office environments and such because it dresses up very well for being a more casual scent. This one goes great with an Oxford in the summertime. Really good stuff. Kind of forgotten about these days. It's Polo Blue Sport from Ralph Lauren. Banana Republic's take on the beloved Creed Green Irish Tweed. It's a little bit dense, a little bit deeper, believe it or not. And the quality is not too far off from Green Irish Tweed. We're talking about Grassland from Banana Republic. This one's popping up in the rack stores more and more these days for around 20 bucks. It is one of the best Banana Republic fragrances you can get, especially for $20. From this icon line, beautiful fresh greens. There's a little bit of a soapy floral tone here. It's a little watery in the backdrop has a ton of freshness, and that opening is definitely based around some mint and some greens. Very, very fresh green fragrance, beautiful stuff. Like I said, not exact one-to-one -one with Creed's Green Irish Tweed, but you can tell that's definitely the route they were going here. You can get this 75 ml, like I said, for $20 floating around the rack stores. Don't overpay for this one. Don't pay 50, 60, 70 dollars online. You can find it from some places online in the sub $30 price point. If you can't find it in the rack stores, I think that's a solid price point for it as well, but Keep your eyes peeled. Uh, in my experience, Burlington's usually have Banana Republic fragrances on a regular basis, but they do show up at the others, like your TJ Maxx's Raw Stress for Less and Marshall's and such. You get the idea. Performance is decent. Nothing groundbreaking here. Not super long lasting. In that four to six hour range, uh, it depends. Super hot day might burn off in about four hours on my skin. More five to six hours most of the time when it's not just scorching hot outside. But another great mint green, very green, good color scheme on this bottle for this fragrance because it is more of a light green. There is some fresh spice to this, don't get me wrong, but it's just more fresh overall. Another great mint based fragrance, Banana Republic Grassland. This next one's definitely a bit more fruity. Uh, it's actually, in the official note breakdown on the side of the box says frozen violet leaves because there's a violet leaf note that gives a little bit of an aquatic hit. There's this juicy pineapple fruitiness in the top with a beautiful mint. Very simplistic, a little woody in the dry down, but just a great fragrance all around. Boss Bottled Unlimited from Hugo Boss. This is a big 200 milliliter bottle. You can get 100 ml in the 30 some odd dollar price point. Depending on where you find it, if you get a tester, you might get it 28, 29, 30 dollars but you can get a 200 ml like this somewhere in the 40 some odd dollar range. This is one you can spray heavy. It's casual, but can definitely go in a workplace office environment. Nothing serious about this. Very relaxing and cooling and a bit refreshing on a super hot summer's day. This is 
one of the more underrated mint fragrances out there because like I said, you get that juicy pineapple blast up top with this mint. Almost an iced pineapple type of smell, but not completely. There's other fragrances that do that a little bit better. This one here is special nonetheless. And like I said, nobody really talks about this one much. It kind of flies under the radar. This is nothing new. It's been out for many years now. It's super affordable and not the most unique fragrance on the planet, but definitely when it comes to minty fresh fragrances, one of the most enjoyable for sure. At least in my opinion, of course. Hugo Boss Boss Bottled Unlimited. So I just mentioned a moment ago about there's a frozen pineapple, a fragrance that does frozen pineapple even better. And that's no joke. With the new Summer Vibes 4.0 from Authenticity Perfumes, it looks just like pineapple juice. I've only worn it three times. It's a very new release. But I got to tell you, when you smell this, so good. My wife loves wearing this one too. Super unisex. It literally smells like frozen pineapple juice. It's that good. The frosted mint leaves that are in here dominate this fragrance with this juicy pineapple. As it starts to settle, you get some clean musk. You get a little touch of woods. There's a few other things that go on in this fragrance. But overall, you get that big, juicy, watery, big slice of pineapple that just came out of the freezer is what it smells like. Iced, minty, refreshing, juicy and uplifting, super tropical, definitely a summer vibe. Appropriately named, this is the best of the series yet. This is the fourth rendition of Summer Vibes. It has officially knocked the 2.0 version, the lime green label, off the mountaintop for me as my favorite from this lovely little indie house called Authenticity Perfumes. This stuff is great. It's a limited production. They only made 300 bottles. So if you were interested in this one, if you like anything you're hearing and you want to try it, they're cheap. There's a 10% off code down below in the link tree. It's one of the best fruity tropical fragrances I have ever smelled and definitely one of the best mint based fragrances I've ever smelled because it takes the basis for what I liked about this and evolves it completely. There's no violet leaf dominance here. It's not a bunch of woods. It's all about the pineapple, the mint and some clean musk and it's 50% oil concentration. It's a freaking beast. So check this one out. Summer vibes 4.0. Next, the criminally underrated these days, blue fragrance that's more of a green fragrance, honestly, because it's more based around this watery aquatic feel, sure, but it's mostly mint and rosemary that I get in this top note that adds this bright green freshness and this lovely crisp green fresh spice with Mr. Burberry Indigo. Yes, I do have a full-size bottle now, not just my 30ml anymore. Shoutouts to my buddy Chuck. I got grabbed this from him, paid shipping, he sent it my way, and it is phenomenal. I did a full review on this one recently at the recording of this. Beautiful. This is more of a mint leaf. This is, for being a mid-level designer fragrance, they captured the quality with the mint and the rosemary here. That, Like I said, there's watery notes. It'll kind of give you a little bit of a hint of Aqua Di Gio Profumo from Giorgio Armani without smelling exactly the same. This takes some of the aquatic tones and the greens from it, a little bit of an earthy tone, but there's no real heavy incense or anything like that like there is with Profumo. But this is a beautiful fragrance, slightly above average performance, everyday wear type of stuff. It does great year round in my opinion, but of course shines well, very, very well, most of all in the summertime. Great fragrance. You can find it for a very good price. These still pop up at the rack stores, the five ounce bottles big boys pop up at the rack stores for a decent price, but you can find variety of bottle sizes online for a very affordable price as well. One of the better mint fragrances out there that's just underrated. Mr. Burberry, Indigo. Going back to the House of Hugo Boss, this is a completely different line, and this is even more so based around mint without all that juicy pineapple and violet leaf of Boss Bottled Unlimited. We're talking Hugo Iced. This is the older style bottle, the Hugo Man bottles that they used to come in. They come in a different bottle now, but it's the same beautiful fragrance from what I understand. I haven't smelled the newer bottles. This is more spearmint gum. This is one of those more synthetic smelling mints that I absolutely adore. Super refreshing type of stuff. 
Like I said, spearmint gum. That's immediately what comes to mind. There's some other things working in its favor here. There's a little bit of citruses, bright, light, watery type of citruses without a bunch of aquatic notes. Uh, this is a lovely fragrance. You can get this one very, very cheap. Sub $30 price point. You can get 4.2 ounce bottles. Low 20s, you can get 75 mLs like this. Rack stores, they pop up. Same thing, you can get them cheap. Underrated stuff for the summertime. Several fragrances in this video are very underrated for the summertime and very affordable. And this is definitely one of them. If you like spearmint gum and you want a fragrance that smells like a great version of spearmint gum, believe it or not, check out Hugo Iced from Hugo Boss. Last but certainly not least, the most powerful mint fragrance in this video. It's full of mint. It's intensified by some green notes. There's some spicy but more fresh than earthy oak moss supporting it with this dark resinous myrrh. We're talking about one of the newest releases from Happy Land Studio. This is Wonderland. This is a very recent release. It came out within the last two months of the recording of this. I've only worn it right under a handful of times, three, four times. And this is one that you do not need many sprays of. It's so beautiful and so believable. I've heard people compare it to Amwaj's Beach Hut Man, though I personally have not tried that fragrance. If so, I bet Beach Hut Man's amazing because this is absolutely freaking amazing. And you can get this way cheaper than that. Like I said, I haven't smelled it to compare, but if you're looking for a standalone, gorgeous mint fragrance that just works so well in the summer, but has this dark, mysterious nature to it because of the myrrh and the oak moss that makes it work well in summer evenings, actually, date nights and such. You might want to check out Happy Land Wonderland. This is beautiful stuff. It's, I want to say, 30, 35% oil concentration, and it's absurdly powerful. The projection here is monstrous in the first hour to hour and a half. You still get plenty of pretty good projection all the way up to the three hour mark. Then there's a great heavy sillage that follows long dense trail. This stuff's a performer. At the end of the day, if you're looking for loud, you're looking for long lasting, you're looking for a great mint fragrance, check out Happy Land Studio Wonderland. Well, that's the 10 that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. What have you tried in this video and or what sparked your interest? What do you feel like? You know what? He's right. I need to try that. I mean, down in the comments, I'd love to know what you guys are feeling about this video as far as these fragrance choices. Some blast from the past, some underrated cheapies, a niche fragrance that just won't quit when it comes to refreshing on your skin. Some really good choices in this video, at least in my opinion. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the 10 I featured and you give them a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Oh, 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 oh,